Hello, welcome back. I'd like to say first off, I know frame rate is going to be a bitch and a half, both because of the snake moving constantly behind and the fact that we got SPs on the lineup today. Oh yeah, drop that frame rate. <laughs> but anyway, this is just some uh, random teams of my, o my SPs here to bring a little pain. Because why not? So, for this uh, five, some if you saw the thumbnail, we have, of course, Kingyo. See, watch. Our little goldfish has grown up. Tamamo, blazing Tamamo no me. Basically, our fox daddy. Divide me, Ketsu. <laughs> The one everybody wanted for ever, <laughs> Ibaraki Doji, Inferno Ibaraki, and of course, our daddy shooting. <laughs> so let's get to what we got. We're running here, starting with our pretty little fish maid. So what has King Yo got? Aside from being grade six and fully skilled up. We have also got her, aside from being fully skilled up, we have also equipped her up with a Fortune Cat set, because, let's be honest here, a little extra defense never hurts, being able to punch something in the face never hurts, and also I really want an excuse to use Shinkuro. It's funny, is how when SPs come out, nobody seems to know what to do with them at first. But, you know. Trust me, I'm working on it. I get some more that are grade 5, grade 6 skilled up, I'll definitely show them off. I might even have some that uh, are still, like, basic that might be interesting to run for a little bit. But, yeah, Shinkiro is here because I love this two-piece thing. I just don't get to use it as often because I don't have many Shinkiro souls. He doesn't pop up that often. But I love this whole sheltering thing, and it actually fits kind of nicely with with Kingyo back there. And Fortune Cat, I mean, orbs, defense, and of course he's having some attack power. I mean, she's doing like upwards a little over 9,000 here. Has a little over 9,000 attack there. That's pretty nice to start out with. Now, of course, we're going to go over here to Daddy Shootin', who, again, grade 6, fully skilled up. Now, I will fully be the first person, God, stop it, to admit I wasn't 100% sure what to necessarily do with him at first, like everybody else in the business. But, I decided I could just, uh, to just go with a lot of crit, a lot of attack, and just focus on that. Now, there are people who have other suggestions for what to do with them, and hey, this, that's great, that's good. Uh, this is just for my play style. And, you know, these also are what I have. So, we have a shadow for attack and crit, another shadow attack and crit. We're definitely trying to pile on some crit damage on top of the crit here. More attack, some speed. Just trying to boost everything. Since he doesn't need effect hit, you don't need to worry about it. Of course, this doesn't the now is this the best? No. I still think there are other th options, but this is the one I found that works best with how I like to play with him. And again. 9,000 damage with his attack, especially torching the sky, that's pretty good, nice. Now, of course, Fox Daddy over here. Tama, come on. We all see him. This is the one everyone brings. This is the one I'm always bringing when I'm co oping with somebody. He's also one of them I make available for any people to use when they're friends with me and get to that level. Now, mm. 
not the strongest, but uh, he's got a little something extra here. Aside from the crit and crit damage, we have this speed thing. He will get first move almost every time. So rest assured, even though I'm bringing him to get first move every time, I'm also bringing my love, my grade six Zashiki. So I'm bringing orbs as well, so I'm not stealing from everybody. A lot of crit attack, crit, crit damaged. Odokuro, I actually really love having on him. <sighs> It just works beautifully. Not to say that I don't think he couldn't that uh, putting on something else like a ghostly songstress, considering he can do a multiple hit at times, would also be incredible. But I just found that I like Odokuro more for some reason. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But it really is nice. But he's literally meant to get first move, do his do his area attack, and then you just start wailing. Now, of course, we're going to Divine Niketsu over here. Yes. Who I honestly love for her abilities here. Her effect hit, she can silence, seal, suppress. I mean, good lord, honey. Her fox realms are amazing. But when I got her, nobody really seemed to agree on what to put on her. So just for fun, I went this route. Boosting effect hit and, of course, adding her an extra little boost. From Tree Niff, being able to remove an orb from opponent when an ally takes damage. Since she's con actually countering attacking on a regular basis, it felt good. Of course, we know that a lot of Shiki are, especially those who deal can deal effects, are kind of will be fucked up by effects. So, you know, little effect resistance, a lot of defense. Goal is to keep her on the field, alive, with boosting HP and defense, and making sure she's hitting her skills. You want her countering, you want her sealing, suppressing, you want her using all of it. And this works very nicely. And of course, Eba. Our boy. <laughs> Our favorite love struck moron who we all adore. <laughs> This one is probably the strongest one I have here, at least with the highest attack power. And let's face it, we love Eva. Grade six, full skill set. Now, he doesn't necessarily need the effect, but I think the effect had just popped up on one of these and I just hadn't gotten around to switching it out yet because I like it, the souls too much. But here we have Watcher, another Watcher. Focusing on boosting his attack, his crit, crit damage, and a little bit of speed. This one to try to keep him alive a little longer. And of course, Odokura, because again, I love Odokura on attacking Shikigami. And this works nicely. Oh yeah, this is the one that has the effect tip booster that he didn't need. Boom. Love it. Now, the frame rate has already gone to shit, unfortunately. I hope you've enjoyed so far. But the frame rate is probably going to completely shit itself in the next few seconds. But, so if it does, I apologize. Please, down below, do the holy trifecta of YouTube with a like, comment, subscribe. Leave suggestions. And if you decide to stick through, let's see what happens, shall we? Hit it! Yeah, definitely this is why I normally bring uh, my Zashiki when I bring uh, Tama anywhere. Because you need him using, you need, you definitely need orbs with him.
God, the frame rate is going to shit. There we go. That's what we do. That's how we do it. This is not a balanced team by any means. It really is not. And I can only imagine how the video quality is right now. Trust me. <laughs> My in-game quality from having this many SPs on the field is causing me shit. <laughs> but we're going to hit the level 40 Kappa Zone now and see what happens. See the hot... All right, Kappas go, frame break, bye bye. <laughs> yeah, this video is going to look like shit. I wish there's a way to stop the snake dragon. <laughs> well, that's late as fuck. <laughs> like I said, this mini shit is SPs really fucks up your frame rate, causes lack issues out the ass. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> if you made it to the end of this thank you immensely <laughs> I know it probably wasn't easy but please uh down below do the holy trifecta YouTube with a like comment subscribe and uh <laughs> I'll see you next time alright see ya